Hello everyone and welcome to another video. For your delight, entertainment and viewing pleasure, allow me to introduce you to Daniel Borislav. Daniel introduced himself to Serafina on Facebook. Hello, he said. You're looking so beautiful and I would like to know more about you. Hope we can be friends on Facebook, please. Send me a friend request so we can be friends. I'm sorry for that. Hi, said Serafina. I just saw your message. I'm just off to bed, so I'll look out for you again tomorrow. The next day, Serafina asked him to tell her something about himself. Well, he said, I'm divorced for three years now, but with a son of 15 years. I work with the Royal British Navy, and I have worked for 32 years, and I'm currently in active service with the United Nations, and I am on deployment here in Syria. And what is your occupation? he asked. I'm a spiritual lady, said Serafina. I work to bring peace and harmony to people's lives. Where do you live when you aren't in Syria? Slightly spooked, our man said, Can you raise the death? Pardon, said Serafina. Do you mean can I kill someone? Absolutely not. I work with the living. No, he said. What I mean is, can you bring somebody back to life? Oh no, she said. I can work to help someone's spirit rest peacefully. So, you tell me details about yourself, he said. I want to know more about you. I have a grown-up daughter, said Serafina, who lives in India with her boyfriend. I live in Glastonbury in Somerset. You didn't tell me where you live when you aren't in Syria. What country is that? he asked. Wait for it. He continued, I'm a British Navy. An entire Navy all to himself. I'm from London. Currently in Syria on a mission with the United Nation. You're from London, said Serafina, and you don't know where Somerset is. How odd. Which part of London are you from? Our man replied to Serafina's comment about living in London and not knowing where Somerset is. I don't get you right, at first, anyways, he said pathetically. What does that mean, asked Serafina. Which part of London are you from? Our man disappeared came back a little while later and said Brick Lane, London, and then suggested that they move to Hangouts, as the scammers always do, before his fake profile could be removed, which it duly was. It doesn't exist anymore. Over on Hangouts, Serafina asked our man, what do you do in the Navy? I work as a medical surgeon, he said. What about you, dear? Where do you work? I already told you what I do, said Serafina. But dear... You didn't really specify the kind of job you do, he said. I told you, said Serafina. I'm a spiritual lady. I work to bring peace and harmony to people's lives. I have lots of lovely people that I work with all around the world and a lot of local people that I can go and visit. I'm also thinking of running some workshops now we can get together again. Oh, really, he said. I thought you were kidding. So you do spiritual things, right? Yes, she said. It's a gift that I've had since I was a child. My grandmother was a Roman gypsy. I would also love you to bring peace and harmony to my own life, he said. Can you do that for me? It's a process that has to be worked on, said Serafina, but we can work together. OK, he said. I really love that. I want to also work with you, dear. First, she said, you have to think about what it is that you want to achieve. What in your life isn't the way you want it to be? Do you know how to meditate? So he replied, what about your personal life, apart from being a spiritualist? I have a grown-up daughter, said Serafina, who lives in India with her boyfriend. She's 30, I'm 55. Yeah, he said, you already told me that. What about your romantic life? You know what I mean, all right? My partner and I split up three years ago, she said. Wow, he said, I'm also 55 years old. Serafina asked about his son. Who does he live with? He's currently in a boarding school, he said, and then randomly changing the subject. So, tell, what's your hobby? You've got to love the way some of these scammers just randomly change the subject. Which school does he go to, asked Serafina. Hey, said our man. Where's that, asked Serafina. I've not heard of it. What, said our hopeless case. Can you say it again? Say what again, said Serafina. I asked which school your son goes to. OK, sorry, said our man. So, which school does he go to, asked Serafina. David Game College, he said. Then 
he thought he'd return to yet another Scammer classic. So, what are you doing? I'm talking to you, said Serafina. What are you doing? Tell me about your work. OK, he said. I treat and attend to injured and sick officers here in Syria. I mean, those officers being wounded by the terrorist. How long have you been doing that? asked Serafina. I've been working with the British Royal Navy for 32 years now, he said. But you haven't always been in Syria, asked Serafina. Yeah, I've been in Syria, he said, almost three years now since I separated from my wife. Hello, dear. Are you there? Hi, yes, I'm here, said Serafina. I'm trying to get you to tell me about your work. I know you're in Syria, but you've been a doctor for 32 years. Where did you train? What do you specialise in? How did you work your way up? Where else have you worked? You know, tell me what you actually do, what you've done, where you've worked. You must have travelled to some amazing places. Hold that thought. He must have travelled to some amazing places. After all, he's been in the Navy for 32 years. Yeah, I was trained at the Defence Medical Academy under the Royal Navy Medical Service, although as a medical assistant, before attend several courses and training at Bulgaria and Dublin, though. Well, I've also visited Dubai with my son. Anyway, that was for vacation. I currently work as an orthopaedic surgeon. You've been to some interesting places, said Serafina. What's Bulgaria like? Cool, he said. So, tell me what you want to know again. What? said Serafina. It's literally one line before your answer. Let talk normal enough for the question, he replied. Try reading my replies before making silly remarks, said Serafina. Sorry, said our man, I'm busy with some patients, so you tell me more about your work. Serafina had had enough of him by then. She had to make herself a very strong cup of herbal tea and went to bed. The following morning, Serafina came back. I've told you about my work, she said. I've been doing it since I was a child. It's a gift I've always had. I've lived in Glastonbury for over 30 years, so I haven't done much travelling, and I've always worked here from home. But you must have had a whole career, working your way up and working in different places, developing skills and your speciality. So why won't you tell me about your career? If you won't, or can't, I'm not interested in talking to a highly intelligent man, an experienced doctor, who can't even make a simple conversation. If you understand this next bit, you can award yourself a gold star and go to the top of the class. If you think is simple, is not, is fun, if you really want to know me, is not for one day, is so bad of you, we need time to know each other better first. If not like that, I can't answer you any more, understand? No, mate, didn't understand a word of it. I understand you want to know more on my career, but we need time to know ourselves better fur. Let's have a good conversation and get used to each other first. Because I really want to know you more, dear. Well, said Serafina, I'm not sure how we can know ourselves better if you won't tell me about yourself. Or is this supposed to be a one-way conversation where I tell you about myself and you don't tell me about yourself? I've just been to see a client, she continued, and I was thinking about how it all started. I think I was about six years old when my grandmother realised I'd inherited her gift. My mother used to get very cross with me because she didn't understand but my granny knew and was kind and talked to me about it. People started paying me to help them when I was about 14. I left school at 16 and got a job in a local shop, but I didn't stay there long because so many people wanted me to help them that I didn't need to work in the shop as well. I think that was when I started growing my own herbs to use with my clients. My grandmother explained that with the help of my spirit guide, I would know which herbs were the right ones for me to grow and use, and that's what I've been doing ever since. Every year I buy new herbs and I always try to find something different to see what effects it has and who it might work for. And I'm trying to have a good conversation. That's why I want to know more about your work. Wow, that's good, said our man. If the person that you're talking to online keeps replying with things such as, wow, that's good, or wow, that's nice, there's about a 99.9% .9 chance that you're talking to a scammer. He continued, I think with your herbs and spiritual gift, we can work together, dear. You're so interesting and I'm so interested in you. I want to be close to you. And also, my son needs a new mum right now, dear. Oh, said Serafina, I 
that's a lovely thing to say. How do you think we could work together? Could I help some of your patients to find harmony with their situation? Yes, dear, he said. Something like that. OK, she said. I'm sure I could do that. So, are you going to tell me about your career as a doctor? Yes, dear, he replied. But with time, I'm going to tell you more about my career. OK. Why won't you tell me now? asked Serafina, starting to get ratty with him. Have you forgotten what you've done? By the way, he continued, trying to change the subject, how was your day, dear? Although I had a stressful day treating wounded officers. Serafina had had enough of him by then and decided to start winding him up. Stop avoiding the question, she said. I'm beginning to think you aren't really a doctor at all. Otherwise, you'd be able to tell me about your career. But you can't, can you? No, he said. How can I forget my profession? I'd find it very strange if you had, she replied. So, tell me about it and stop avoiding the question. OK, he said. I will tell you. Be specific. What are the areas you want me to enlighten you on about my profession? You know, let's just stall for time. Grow up, said Serafina. I don't want you to enlighten me about anything. I want you to tell me about your career. You know, why did you become a doctor? Where did you train? What was your first job? When did you decide to specialise? Where have you worked? Your career. Yeah, sure. As a military medical practitioner, he said. I treat people, especially people in the military. I'm currently an orthopaedic surgeon, a specialist in bones. So I treat and operate on wounded and fractured person, respectively. It's always been my passion to become a military man along the line while growing. I became interested in medicine and joined the Royal Navy as a medical assistant and also went for several courses within UK and outside UK, Bulgaria and Dublin respectively, and now a medical orthopaedic surgeon. I hope you understood all that, folk. OK, said Serafina. What courses did you do in the UK? I have worked all my life for the British Royal Navy for 32 years now, he said. Yes, said Serafina. You told me that. What courses did you do in the UK? You said, went for several courses within UK. What were they? And why do I have to ask you everything two, three or more times? Nothing, really, he replied. It's OK for the question. No more question and answer. Why did you go on courses that were nothing, really? That doesn't make sense, she said. You aren't a doctor, are you? What are you, the camp cleaning boy? Let talk about why we're here, he said. Well, I want to get to know you, said Serafina, but you clearly don't want to tell me. I can't be friends with a man who refuses to have an intelligent conversation. So, goodbye. To which our man replied, You're very stupid for that. For wanting an intelligent conversation with a doctor, asked Serafina. You're very foolish human being have ever see, he said. Foolish? For wanting an intelligent conversation with a doctor, she said again. Yes, he said because your question is too much. I only asked you one question, said Serafina. I asked you to tell me about your career. That's all, one question. If you want to know, it's time to time, he said. But I know you aren't a doctor, she replied. You can't even spell. I think you're the camp cleaner, trying to impress me by pretending to be a doctor. Have told you everything, he said. You see, said Serafina, you can't even write a proper sentence, can you? Yet you claim to have been born in England and be a doctor. That's clearly a lie, so go away. Wow, I don't talk to cheap women like you, fool, he said. To which Serafina replied, goodbye. And now for a question. What do you think our man did next? Yes, he thought he'd call Serafina. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. So, so why, why won't you tell me about your career as a doctor? Listen up. Let me talk to you. We tell you about my career. I told you I'm a military doctor. See not to get that. I don't know why. Well, you must have had a I'm career. I'm explaining to you. Where did you train? See, this thing, don't need to ask me a question I've answered you before, okay? Well, where did you train as a doctor? 
do you have to tell you about that again? If you can go through our chat, you find out everything I've talked to you about. No, you haven't, so told, you have from you haven't London. told me. You haven't told me where you trained. You still want to know that? Yeah. Where Where did you train as a doctor? Can't you remember? I can't hear you. Sorry. Can't you remember where you trained? I trained in London. I just told you. Yeah, where in London? Which medical school did you go to? Hey, listen up. Sorry. The first me medical academy, I told you that from then, the first medical academy. Yeah, which medical school did you go to? I said the first medical academy. Can't you hear me? No, I can't. You keep cracking up. I'm shouting on top of my voice. I said the first medical academy. Medical academy? I've never heard of it. Where is that? You can't know all your place in London. What do you mean place in London? There's lots of medical schools in London. West... Westminster, if you want to know. West, you went to Westminster Medical School? That's what I just said. Well, you said Medical Academy, but you, you meant Westminster Medical School. And so when did you decide to specialise in orthopaedics? We are both. Hello, uh, uh, are you? No, you keep, cracking, you keep cracking up. Our man came back, and in this next bit, he's going to try ever so hard to explain to you all the places that he's been to, or not been to, or, well, I'm sure you'll be just as confused as I was. Hi there. Um, sorry, I can't so hang up, but the thing was cracking. I can oh, oh hear you that's better. I can hear you better now. Okay, what were you saying? I can hear you better now. I don't appreciate okay. you calling me a foolish human being just for asking about your career. That's very rude for a doctor, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Um, you get pushing me off. I keep picking myself. That's why I just have to do that. Oh, you're cracking up again. Sorry about that. You're, you're cracking I, up again. Hello? I can just about hear you. Okay, I say I'm sorry about that, okay? Okay. I don't mind my manners. Okay. Yeah. Your excuse. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine, thank you, yes. What are you doing for the moment? Where are you? Where? Where am I? I'm at home. In your home? Yeah. Okay. Got no work to do today. Well, I had a couple of um, lovely clients that I had to see this afternoon. Okay, that's cool. And tomorrow I think I'm doing a, a Zoom call with some ladies in, I'm not quite sure where, Spain or Portugal, I'm not sure which it is. I think one's in Spain and one's in Portugal. Okay. I'm just so tired and stressed for today. If you don't mind me, any I'll talk to you, okay? Okay, so what have you been doing today? What do you say? What have you been doing today? I'm between two people checking up for them, those that are on pain today. So, I have to check up for them and keep record, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's all the hell of a day. So how long, how long have you been in Syria, did you say? Did you say three years? Yeah, three years, is that what I said? Yeah. Where, where were you before you were in Syria? Well, I was in London, so you know, the military work of the team, you don't stay in one place. You can be called and you can be moved to anywhere you don't want to at any time. Yes, I, I realise that, so you must have been to a lot of places. Yeah, basically, no, no is in a camp when you have to go somewhere you are called for. Yeah. So how many places, how many different countries have you worked in? Well, I must say it is my first time outside mission. So, on my work, some my 
military work has been my country. So this is my first time going outside the country, you know. So you've always worked in England before going to Syria? That's correct. So you must have travelled around England then? Yeah. Would you work in the military bases or something? Yeah. So which ones have you been to? So is it what? Which of the military bases have you worked in? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Hello I can't hear you. I guess I have to call you back. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm really happy with bad network, okay? Oh, that's better. I can hear you now, I think. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. So I was asking you which bases you'd worked in. Devonport. Portmont, Portmont is in London. Yeah. So you don't really travel about very much then? What do you say? What do you say? You don't. You haven't really done much travelling. No, no, no. I haven't. This is my point. I'm mean, outside the states. The states? You've been to the states? I said this is my first assignment outside the country. So I've been my country, serving my country. Right. So which is your country? Bulgaria. Bulgaria? I said I'm from Bulgaria, but I've worked in. I work and live in UK in my life. Right. Do, do you get it? I don't think, you, know, you, never you, never said, you never said to me you were from Bulgaria. Maybe if I asked, maybe check the chat, I said that to you, clearly. No, you told me you'd been to Bulgaria. You said you'd done some training in Bulgaria, but you didn't say that's where yeah. you came from. During my training, I also lived there. You told me you'd done some training in the UK, but you wouldn't tell me what it was, and that you'd done some you know, training in Bulgaria. Yeah, it's a military work. You don't have to stay in one place to do all your training and all your work. You move around. I've been to places I can't really recall if you ask me. But Even you just in my told country. me you've only been to Devonport and London. I, that's my that's a base in London. I've I've sat there for quite a time, a lot of time. So which places have you been to? Sorry. Which places have you been to? I've been to Dubai. Um, so I, did, I didn't catch that. I said I've been to Dubai. You've been to Dubai. Oh, my phone, yeah. Uh, and where else have you been? Dublin. Yeah, and where else? It's okay. How about you now? Can I do well, that? What do the military do in Dubai? What, why do we have military in Dubai? I don't know about that. I don't, I've never served in Dubai. But you just told me you've been to Dubai. I just, I just went to Dubai for vacation. I did go there to Sabo to work for any marriage. Okay. All right. Yeah. So what about you? Well, what about me? What do you mean? Were you really married before? Um, I've never actually been married. Um, I was with a partner. We split up about three years ago. But we were never okay. married. So you're just dating or um, what would I call it? Sorry, say it again. Were you just together, not officially married, but you... That's right, that's right, yes. Yeah, we never got married. Okay. Do you still talk to him now? You guys have... Oh, we're still friends, yes. Oh. We're still friends. But he's he moved to, well, he moved to somewhere in Suffolk, I think. Okay. So, don't want to get married again. Um, Sorry, say that again. You've got a very strange line. I should find someone to settle down with you again. Oh, well, I might do one day, yeah. Oh, and you want to get 
have kids again. I'm too old to have kids. <laughs> so how many are you looking forward to to have kids? So that's again. Do you want to give back to how many kids again? I'm too old to have children. Like how many? So Hello. Me. I said like how many? How many kids more do you want to have? I told you I'm too old to have children. You why do you say so? Do you not know anything about women being a doctor? That what I'm that what I'm saying. Nobody's old enough, too old to give birth to children. You can give birth at any time. Can you? It's not it's not really stated. You there's a certain stage you have to give birth. Oh, okay. So you, you must work some kind of miracles then as a doctor, because most women once they've gone through the menopause can't have children. So how do you manage to do that? I don't really work on women. I don't. Really, um, I'm not really concerned and not much about the aspect on. So my how, so so how, I don't how know do you know about that women can carry on having children then? It's always that's very open to everybody. Most people know that would not be a doctor. So you you how must, you must know something that I don't about how women can carry on having children. How old are you? How would you know? Well, you told me. I, I'm asking, how old are you? How old am I? I'm 55. It's a wow. What do you mean, wow? Um, I don't think it's possible. I actually don't think it's possible to have kids again past this stage. Well, I told you that. Yeah, I just, I just confirmed that you're telling me your age now. I told you that, and you told me that there wasn't an age limit. Yeah. You stay alone. Sorry? You stay alone. Say that again. Do you stay alone? You stay alone, or what? Do I stay alone? Yeah. What do you mean? Do you live alone? Do I live in... Alone? Do you live alone? Do I live alone? Yeah. Yes, I told you my partner and I split up three years ago. Okay. How about your siblings, mom, dad, or any relation? Oh, my father's been dead for a long time. My mother lives in Southampton. Your mom lives in here? Yeah, she lives in Southampton. Okay. Um, How about brothers and sisters? No, I don't have any brothers and sisters. I've got a daughter who lives in India with her boyfriend. You go what? I've got a daughter who lives in India with her boyfriend. I've told you all this. Yeah, yeah I told you like that. You have only um daughter by your parents, right? You've disappeared. I can't hear you. Hello. Oh, that's better. I can hear you now. All right. I guess we should chat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is that near your voice? Our man disappeared. Will there be a part two? I don't know. You'll have to wait and find out. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it. Please share it. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again in another Keep Safe on the Net video on YouTube.